just two days after police released surveillance tape of him running away from the scene of the crime, the manhunt for a killer on Miami Beach is over. Just a few hours ago, police announced they've taken Keith Brown into custody. CBS 4's Peter Dench talked with the victim's mother about today's arrest. Joins us live now from Miami Beach. Police headquarters and Peter, what's her reaction to this? Well, Jim and Rudovi, she is grateful that police have taken Keith Brown into custody. She says that Latoya Wiggins was her only daughter. She can't believe she lost her life this way. She thinks of their happier moments together. She meant the world to me. I love my daughter. Tanya Wiggins says her heart aches. I hate that she's gone, and I'm glad they caught him because he didn't have to kill her. Wiggins had prayed that police would find the man who shot and killed her 32-year-old daughter, LaToya Wiggins. Everybody loved her, and that's why it's hurting everybody, because we can't believe that she, he took her because she was a happy, go-lucky girl. She always smiled, always had a smile on her face, always made you laugh. Miami Beach police say they now have their suspect, 33-year-old Keith Brown, in custody. They say he was captured on camera sprinting away on 10th Street near Collins Avenue right after the early Sunday morning murder. Surveillance tape also captured people running away after four shots were fired. Just after they called him. Had you worried that they might not find him? Well, I was worried, but I knew they was going to get him, though, because he had nowhere to run and hide because his grandmother, she wasn't... She wasn't happy about what he had done, and she was hurt about it. Police said Wiggins was a cooperating witness in a separate human trafficking investigation. It's not known if that was tied to the homicide. Wiggins' aunt says Wiggins and Brown had a stormy relationship. It wasn't a healthy relationship for her. Um, they did a lot of arguing and stuff, and, you know, of course, we would encourage her to, you know, get out of the situation. On Wednesday, Keith Brown's grandmother told me Brown was troubled. He had, really has some serious mental problems. And what do you mean, a serious mental problems? He, he don't seem like he's in his right mind to me. Well, would you like to see that he be punished for what he did? Yeah. I hope he get life the rest of his life in prison. Now, it is not known at this point why Wiggins' life was taken. Brown's grandmother told me that Brown spent 10 years in prison, but his mental health problems were never resolved. She says he refused to deal with him. We are live at Miami Beach Police Headquarters. Peter Dench, CBS 4 News. Peter, thank you.